Alrighty then, round three with bowls with my wine-based anti-depression tech. Uh, this is definitely Mulligan since there's no lands in it. <sighs> so, I had to Mulligan that one since it both needed a white source and a creature. This one though is capable. It doesn't have very much going on, but I mean, it has three lands, so if we ever draw one of our big cards, that'll be great. Uh, by big cards, I mean Arbidil Cloak and Ancestral Mask. If we fail, uh, then hopefully we're drawing something. Wow! I like it. I like what's going on over there. Uh, <laughs> so we're playing against like a Spirit Craft deck. It's certainly not... Okay, so I'm going to say it's not unheard of, but I haven't seen anyone other than me playing too many spirits recently. Uh, but it's not unheard of for there to be edicts in their deck, but we certainly can't beat one this game, so we're not going to attempt to. However, if they have some sort of fog lock going on, that could be bad times for us. Uh, but yes, this deck probably has Nameless Inversion and I've forgotten the name of it, the, the one that drains your opponent for life every time you play a spirit, spirit or arcane spell, uh, which can soul shift back Nameless Inversions. Uh, Kandama's Reach, uh, probably Soulless Revival. So yeah, lots of lots of sweet cards basically. Uh, hopefully they don't have anything in their main deck to defeat us, and we just get to run wild here. And it's true, they did not have anything to defeat us. I'm kind of feeling bad for my opponent there, this deck's kind of nonsense. Um, who knows what they're going to have in our sideboard? So I'm leaning on the side of some young wolves. Since they, they have black cards in their deck, can easily mean some edicts or uh, shrivels. I imagine there'll be some wear aways, which can't really do too much about that. I'm not convinced Coalition Honor Guard would do anything in particular. I don't think like this is a lifelink matchup. I don't think this is an artifact or enchantment matchup. And, I mean, the gut shots can kill Hanakami and some other random 1-1 spirits that they may or may not have in their deck, but I'm going to lay on the side of not bringing them in. So yeah, I'm just going to bring in some young wolves and uh, cut like one spider umbra, one light walker, one slippery bowl. I think Armadillo Cloak is probably quite good still. Uh, I probably could have taken out. So this hand, this hand. I think it's, it's, so it doesn't have the Hexproof creature. It does have a creature and we can like draw a card to maybe hit a Hexproof creature in time. Uh, it's a high possibility our opponents would have taken out targeted kill spells. So we might be able to go to town with Rancor and Kalni Garden. So I'm willing to keep it. it it's good enough that if we draw Hexproof Creature and we have relevant uh, mana, we can play our big cards and the Mulliganed. So I think we have our we have our backup plan already. It's already here. So yeah, let's see what happens. Colony Garden getting stuck in here. Uh, no forest to be seen. A duress. No, my Rancor. They have to. They almost certainly have to take Rancor here. It's you know, it's like basically playing Rancor on a plant is a freebie since if 
the, the plant dies or otherwise gets dealt with, I get the Rancor back. I'm much less excited about just slamming an ethereal armor on the plant though. Hmm, alright, so... We have, we have a couple of choices. So if we just play Bogle and say Blossoming Sands, then we're weak to Shrivel, which I can definitely see happening. On the other hand, we can like play Abundant Growth and then next turn play Bogle plus Ethereal Armor. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play um, Abundant Growth on this Calmly Garden first. See what we draw. And because if we drew a second Hexproof creature, I would have played this one. But since we didn't, I'm uh, going to play out this and I'm going to attack for zero just to send a message. This plant's coming for them. Potentially. Yeah, Thief of Hope. That is, that is the card I was thinking of earlier. I just forgot the name of it. Now, of course, being split over three colours, the opponent could easily have Serene Grace or something them themselves, uh, where they can destroy all my auras. And there's not much I can do about it. Their opponent's down to three cards, so if they don't have some absurd hate card, then I think we've drawn enough good enchantments that we're in good shape. Uh, they're probably going to take Ancestral Mask here. Since I have two Armadillo Cloaks, they can't stop me from resolving one of those if that's what I wanted to happen anyway. Alright. So, I guess the best draw next turn would be an Ethereal Armor, so I could play that and Armadillo Cloak in the same turn. But things are looking... well. Oh, there we go, I just called it. So... <laughs> this, is, this is like the reverse of the that occurs every other time I've played Vogels. I'm just, just having it all. No opponent. My opponents are drawing badly and I'm drawing quite well. Now having said that, we could have still lost that game if they just had some like destroy all enchantments card. We were probably gonna get killed this game. However, we have defeated our sweet opponent's deck and We'll move on to round four.